While drive shafts may appear to be fairly simple, they are in fact finely tuned and quite complex pieces of engineering. In this video, you'll be introduced to the features and operations of drive shafts, along with universal and constant velocity joints. After completing this module, you'll understand some crucial operating concepts, including angles, phasing, and balancing. In the meantime, here's a short teaser of what you'd expect to see in this module. When a vehicle suspension compresses or rebounds, the tail shaft must follow the same movement as the final drive assembly. The distance between the transmission output shaft and the final drive assembly will change proportional to the arc that the final drive follows. The tail shaft is designed to compensate for this movement using a slip joint. Vehicles with limited suspension travel use an extended yoke which is splined to the transmission output shaft. As the suspension moves and the tail shaft follows, the slip yoke will slide into and out of the extension housing. Vehicles with longer suspension travel are fitted with a slip joint positioned in the tail shaft itself. This joint performs the same function as a slip yoke. It's not uncommon for long wheelbase rear wheel drive vehicles to be fitted with a centre bearing, which effectively turns one long shaft into two shorter ones. The centre bearing is a sealed ball race mounted in a thick rubber casing, which is then bolted to the chassis or underbody of the vehicle. Manufacturers do this to minimise driveline vibrations caused by the high rotational speeds of the tail shaft. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge and training to the next level, why not subscribe to Automate today? With over 400 high quality videos, Automate will change the way that you think about training forever. Visit automatetraining.com for more information.